Uh, my name is Sarah Marshall and I'm a marketing manager for Bionicle. So in the US, Bionicle has been the most successful LEGO um, own, own IP product in its history. Um, we've probably sold um, around 250 to 300 million toys by the end of this year. Um, and 2003 is a particularly exciting year for us because um, we've got the new toys, and plus we've got the video game, and there's also a direct video release um, from Buena Vista, who are doing um, a story based very much on Barnacle, but sort of from a different perspective. Um, the game itself um, encompasses a lot more than, than this year's toys. It goes back to sort of 2001 and all the toys and the characters that the kids know and love from sort of right from the very start of Bionicle. Um, you can get to play all of the Toa in, in the game and um, each of the Toa have their own environment. So there's a, a fire, a water, an ice, um, a war, um, an air, a stone and a sort of an underground. Uh, and each of the characters' environments sort of um, dictate the sort of gameplay that the, that the game has. Um, for example, Tahu, the fire guy, he's very at home on the lava, so he can sort of surf down the, surf down the lava. Um, and then the snow guy, he likes to snowboard down the mountain as fast as he can. So there's a lot of replay there for, for the kids. The game's aimed at about 8 to 12 year olds, so the kids can replay and try and get the best time. Um, and then there's a mixture of, of, sort of that fast adrenaline levels, and there's also the running around, picking up things, collecting things, um, and battling against all the enemies. Um, the combat was, was, was a, an interesting one for us because we didn't want to do um, sort of direct hack and slash because that's not really what Bionicle's all about. It's about being a bit smarter than that. So we, what we've tried to create with sort of special effects and, and um, in the game is, is elemental power. So it's about throwing elemental blasts and charging up but still giving the kids that feeling as though they've had a fight. You know, they still have that satisfaction that they've, they've been battling against enemies. Um, so the game centers around the six, the six heroes um, and you have various uh, tasks to carry out, enemies to defeat, things to collect, villagers to rescue, um, bosses to, to beat, and then you finally get to, um, once you've done, done that as a sixth Toa, you finally get to become the seventh Toa, which is the almighty superhero Toa. Um, and he's a new character for this year. Um, and then as you play him, you have your final super battle, super boss battle with Makuta. And Makuta's like the evil force of the island and he's the one that sent all these bad guys down and um, he's like the final boss battle. And the kids have never really seen him before, so it's also very exciting for the kids to finally sort of see, the guy, see the guy that they've always just heard about. And it's very much the first time that Bionicle's been really brought to life. The kids have always only ever had him as webs or comics or the toys. And now this is their chance to really interact with the game and, and be the Toa, so yeah. Um, this is uh, just gone alpha um, and we, we're, due to, we're due to ship uh, the first week of October.